So chalk our last news story up as uber, uber weird. Like, I don't know what's happening with Lucasfilm. Maybe some wires got crossed and some stuff came out that shouldn't have. But it, it, it ended up not being consequential. Uh, last week on the podcast, I made the prediction that we would get an Ahsoka casting news at D23. Well, that's kind of right. <laughs> Ahsoka got cast, but not mentioned at all at D23. We'll mention that. Uh, as I'm going to see if I pronounce this right, but I'm horrible with names. Uh, Iman S. Fondi as Ezra Bridger in the upcoming Ahsoka series. I am not familiar with this actor's work. I saw that he was in uh, Will Smith's King Richard last year, so mm -hmm. I'll check that out at some point. If we're going by just physical appearance, dude looks spot on. He looks like an older Ezra. The, the real conversation I think here is this dropped like Thursday or Friday mm -hmm. before D23. And Lucasfilm said nothing about this. It was yeah. like it was an announcement meant for D23. And then once it came out via the official trades like Deadline and Hollywood Reporter, they're just like, uh, all right, well, it's out there. Guess we don't have to say anything about it. Like, no, you probably could have still said it because it wasn't super circulating like i think if you weren't in the clone wars bubble or in the diehard movie bubble i don't think this flew across your radar this yeah this felt like his purpose being swept under the rug to be a big announcement at d23 this just felt very odd to me yeah it's um <laughs> first of all like i hey you were right they were gonna announce ezra over before thrawn uh, but who knows what kind of damper that put on any potential plans maybe that they had at the panel, which is hard to tell now because as we'll get into, nothing was dropped, nothing was said. So it's to me, I would think like if I don't want to like doubt that it's official or doubt that it's real, you know what I mean? But like the because of how it's been kind of like put under the rug a little bit makes me feel like oh well we weren't supposed to say that sorry yeah it e it was super bizarre because like it had some there was like some sources that were saying a different actor like a day or two before the official thing and then this actor um again not super familiar with this work but if this is their big break, congratulations to you. I hope you are absolutely fantastic in this role because Ezra as a character, I very much enjoy and has one of the better arcs because when they first meet him, he's a lot like, Ap uh, like Aang, the avatar of just annoying, frankly, when you first meet him and then grows to be a very interesting, mature adult. Um, Space whales. <laughs> I still am questioning that. I love every second of that. It, it's all right. Let me rephrase. If they hadn't teed it up like three or four episodes before that, the, that finale, I would have been super like, um, no, that's no. Okay. No. But uh, because they did, I was way more forgiving. Um, for those who haven't seen Rebels, I, you're, I really I hate the required viewing thing. Uh, going into Ahsoka, but I think I like first. Like, I know a lot of people. You and I both know quite a few people that wrote, have written Rebels off simply on animation style alone, um, and I think that's does the show a great disservice because it's, golly, is it good? It hits goes hard in the paint, especially in the later seasons, um, and especially when like if there's almost like a moment where you can see where like. Somebody told Dave Filoni, like, hey, we know how much you love the uh, the, the the extended universe that's not canon. Um, if you want to kind of like start sprinkling some of that in, feel free. Like, you, there's a very, like, visible moment when that starts to happen. And it get, to me, it gets really, really exciting. And now Dave Filoni has some power in live action stuff. And he, you know, just mm -hmm. starts sprinkling it in Mando. Now we're going to start mm -hmm. sprinkling it in Ahsoka. We got Bad Batch season two, cool ish, I guess. Um, but like, I I feel like we've talked about this before. This is going to lead to bigger and better things. Of yeah, Ezra's cruel and everything. 
when is the blue guy showing up? Because he <laughs> has to. Who's exp- going to play Thrawn, and why is it not going to be it's, Bended at Camp Cumberbatch? It's going to... I have talked about this with my coworker, and she and I both are on the same page of... It should just be the guy from the animated series, because... He's got the voice, but he also still can physically pull off the character. I highly doubt they'll do that. Is it, what, Lars Mickelson, I think? Something like that. I mean, if your name is Mickelson, you are the bad guy, clearly. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's like being Sean Bean in a movie. Yeah, a, you just have a, you're typecasted for a certain role, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. Mads Mickelson, Lars Mickelson, Phil Mickelson, always playing second <laughs> fiddle. But, <laughs> but <laughs> this was... I'm excited because it means Ezra's coming. I'm excited for this actor who I've never heard of. Sounds weird, but I'm excited that we actually have some casting. Just thought it was super weird that it was from actual places like Deadline and Hollywood Reporter. And Disney was super, super quiet. As we'll talk about here in a little bit. That was the recurring theme of the weekend. 